how to create a private application. All right, so while I was in customer support, I came across a very interesting question. And that question was, can I delete or get rid of the My Account tool or feature inside of my application? Okay, so to quickly answer that question, the answer is no. However, what you can do is within the padlock feature, you can lock your entire application or feature by feature and you can only and you can restrict access to certain um, to certain members or to certain clients I'll show you how to do that right now so if we click on padlock okay change the name we can do all of this stuff you can find this in previous tutorials um, but to do this specifically we want to select the account um, option here allow all users by default you want to select no and lock the entire application you want to select yes if you want to do it by feature no, the features will show up. You just select on the features. Okay, in this case, we're going to select yes, lock everything, save it. Once you have the green light here, what we're going to do now is come here to our settings. Then we're going to go to our domain. Okay, then we're going to go preview our web version here so we can create an account for our client. Now, why do we want to create an account for our client? Is I come here to a new tab. It's because our client is going to be the only one that can log into this app. If they want other people to be able to access this account, then they will have to contact you as a developer to go ahead and give access to this person so that they can create an account. Okay, so when we get here to our preview, we're going to see the padlock show up or whatever we renamed it to. And it's going to say access restricted to authorized members only. What they're going to have to do is log in here and either log in with the authorized account, which there is none now, or they have to create one. Okay, so even if someone creates an account here that does not give them access, I'm going to show you how to give each person access. So let's create this account for our client. It'll be Mr. here, um, just for example, and I'm going to put client for his first and last name. Okay, the email I'm going to put again, just client at store.com. And the password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. I have to accept the privacy policy. Once I do so, I can send this off and I've created my account. Now we see another message pop up and this says, we are sorry, but your account does not have enough permissions to access this page. This means, yes, we understand that you have an account, but you still cannot access because you do not have the proper um, authority to do so. I have to come back here now. And we're going to keep this open. I'm going to come back here now. I'm going to go to my users. Okay. Once I go to my users, I see my client in store. I see my client name here. Um, what I'm going to do is come here to my edit. And then I want to select this box here that says this user can access the pages locked by the locker feature. Once I do this, I save. I come back to my application. And now when I refresh the page, which may take a little bit longer depending on the server or your internet connection okay so we're going to refresh this <clears throat> all right so now we're in our application just like that okay so now the only person who can log into this account is that client at store.com account. If I come here to my account and I log out, I go back to the locked out feature or the padlock. I come back here, client at store.com, password one, two, three, four, five, and six. I log in. I'm back inside the application. Okay, thank you, and I'll talk to you next tutorial.